my morning routine is everything to me. This really changes season to season, month to month, but I do have a couple things in it that stay pretty consistent, and that would be reading and journaling in the morning. I always like to get some sort of movement, and I like to get outside of my house for a second. I hope this video inspires you all to create some sort of routine for yourself. It has been so beneficial for my overall mental health. I hope you all enjoy this video, and let's get started. <laughs> Y'all know the drill, my iced coffee, and then my favorite creamer. I actually have like five favorite creamers, but this one is up there, my pumpkin spice. I wake up in the morning and then I do my little reading and journaling. Oh, here we go. Love this. Oh, okay. It's time to get dressed for my workout. I run a couple days a week, I weight lift a couple days a week, and then I saw a cool plunge. Today is the day where a run and a weightlifting session like happen on the same day. So that's what we're doing. No sauna, no cold plunge. We don't have time. I lay out my outfit here the night before, and I lay out like my actual outfit here. So I will wear real clothes because you guys see me in the vlogs. Like if I don't do this, I'm in sweats. And I want to feel put together. I obviously don't tell you guys this. I'm sure most of you guys do. When you work from home, it's just so hard to, like, get dressed. I feel like post the pandemic, like, oh, okay. Anyways, I picked out this outfit. It's aloe. I think I'm going to have to change the top because it's actually colder outside. Shorts, sports bra, and then I just got new running shoes from aloe that I've been loving. And then I got a new bag. I have this in pink. You guys have probably seen it. But this is the best for my workouts. Also, if you're not wearing running socks, you need to. These have transitioned into like my everyday socks, but they make the biggest difference. Ali Yoga just released their first ever performance shoe. I just got them last week. I really, really like them. They're very comfortable. They're very breathable. They have like a double mesh that optimizes airflow. They're also made with 70% recycled materials, which is obviously amazing. These shorts, by the way, are really great to run in. It's hard to find the right shorts to run in, and I will link these. They're also a really good length. I feel like a lot of other running shorts, like I don't like the length. They're almost too short and then I just don't feel comfortable. It is slightly chilly. Like is it weird to wear a vest with the lights of the short sleeve? Like kind of, you know? All right, so as y'all can see, the shoes are stunning. They're very flattering on the foot. They're also reflective, which is great. Not Coco back there complaining there's a stabilizing like heel clip so it keeps your feet locked in and slip free they have an extra firm like crash pad so the cushioning at the heel is very stable provides a lot of structure i love these sneakers what i love about them the most is that they're very versatile i go from like a runner or workout to running errands and they're very like sleek and stylish but honestly because i do so many different types of workouts i have to wear like specific shoes for specific things these i can just wear them for everything the perfect performance shoe i always love like an all white sneaker and they are so hard to find like actually and if they exist they're always out of stock um so i'm gonna link these below they are my favorite sneaker i literally just got them a week ago because they just launched and they are so comfortable so now i've been yapping a little much so we have got to go when i run i have to put my hair in a braid if I don't put my hair in a braid, it's like this disgusting, horrible rat's nest. So I do this like very, very quickly. I'm not used to talking so much so early. My chief stuff. Everything running wise, honestly, and including these sneakers, I'll add them, is on my like running shop my. These are my favorite sneakers I've ever worn. Like seriously, they're so good. Final look at my fit. It actually is all aloe. Bags aloe. We're off. Another thing I do with running is I'll download podcasts like the night before. So it's one less thing I have to think about. 
I try so hard to stay off my phone in the morning, but honestly, guys, like, I am addicted to my phone. Like, it's actually very bad. You just, I'm so sick of it. I really am. So, working on that. Y'all have seen this bag on my channel. I have the pink one. I use it for running. Got water, electrolytes, and, oh, we're up. You know what? Sourdough Judy's call. Gotta get the sourdough out of the fridge because we are, I believe, prepping a loaf today. I think we are. I'm just gonna go on a pretty short run today. I'm not even gonna go for distance or time. I'm just gonna run. Here we go. Last look at the fit. Okay guys, I finished my run. Short and sweet, it's just better to get something in than nothing at all. And now I'm heading off to my weightlifting class. I go to a weightlifting class three days a week. I love it. I've gotten so much stronger. It's just so good. Weightlifting is so good for you. It's also super anti-aging. Not that I really care about that. I'm 27, but maybe I should start, you know? We try new By the way, this is the podcast I'm listening to. Guys, I'm not kidding. People are complimenting me on my shoes. I just love them. All right, made my breakfast, new heights is on. I'm giving myself 20 minutes to get ready today. I put timers for everything, it makes me go so much faster. I hate wasting time getting ready. I just don't like getting ready, honestly. I have an event tonight too, so I'll do like full makeup and stuff there. This brush, by the way, it's an infrared hairbrush from Bondi Boost. I love it. I love it specifically for like restyling. I haven't styled my hair since I washed it, so we'll see how it goes. I use this thing all the time. It makes your hair look really, really smooth. It's good for like balance and a good blow up. My hair doesn't hold like curl at the end when I try to do like the blow out curl in well at all. Um, but I love this thing. Just put it all the way up to 450. I love this Orbe restyling spray. Obviously not restyling, but my hair is dry, so. Stuff smells so good. I've also been using this hair oil which I love. I don't think I'm gonna throw it in today, but if your hair's feeling dry, it's so good. I wish I'd used hair oils like earlier than literally a month ago. My hair is like so dry in so many different times of my life, but I just thought if I put hair oil in, my hair would look oily. I've realized that that is not the case. I'm doing like two minute makeup, AKA sunscreen and a bit of bronzer. This Ilya bronzer is so good. It's cream. It's easy to apply. We're gonna do a little bit of some blush. Looking at my brows, I use this $2 e.l.f. pomade. My hair and my makeup in 10 minutes, actually, it's so bright. Let's go get dressed. The key with a morning routine is to have a schedule down. I have so many podcast episodes on routines and morning routines, so I will link the house guest podcast YouTube channel. And we have an entire playlist of all of those, like how to build a routine, morning routine vibes, you know. If you want to get inspired and start a new one, I would say don't go from zero to 100. This is not my most intense routine that I've had. I just have like staples that I like to do every morning. Like I like to read and write. I like to get outside. I like to get some movement. And those are like my top things. But it does genuinely just make me a happier person. I have been making morning routine videos on YouTube for the past decade and that's just because I love a good morning routine. Anyways, I am in my robe. I have some outfits like planned for the week. This is something else that I really like to do because it makes my day easier. I like to 
get all of my decisions like made and out of the way. For example, I have like my schedule to my morning routine already done. But when I go to bed, I know exactly what I'm doing the next morning. So I'm not like lollygagging around and I don't know what to do. I just get to it immediately. I have my outfits laid out, so that's less of a decision. I pretty much have the same breakfast every morning. Another decision I don't have to make. We don't need decision fatigue in the morning, you know? Anyways, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It seems to be the vibe for today. All right, so this is the look for today. I'm glad I got slightly ready, even just putting on like blush, bronzer. The minimal makeup that I did, it makes me feel so much more prepared for the day. My sweater is Abercrombie, it's so cute. This belt is made well and they have a brown suede version that is on back order. I ordered it and I'm just waiting for two months, I think it's a two month wait. These jeans are also Abercrombie and I'm wearing slippers because we're just working from home for the next couple of hours and we are ready to go with our day. All right, so I'm gonna have everything that I talked about in this video linked, specifically the aloe shoes. Those are my go-to, my favorite sneaker. I love them. I've never loved shoes that I've run in more ever. I also got compliments in my weightlifting class after. So if you need some added motivation to get to your workouts, those are the shoes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all so much and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.